What's up, dudes? Guess what? We didn't go anywhere. Guess what? We stood right here. Right here waiting. For a whole night waiting for you guys to <laughs> tune back in to us. And then I was like... That's right. Super Beard Bros is forever live. Every time you watch it, we're just <laughs> waiting to do it again and again. It's like so impossible. <laughs> if only. It's <laughs> so, not, uh, not an if only. That'd be way worse. <laughs> we're going straight to the Swamp Temple. Um... Here That's we right. are. We're heading to the Swamp of swamp Evil, Swamp of Evil, my man. But there's uh, some other stuff to do first, right? Get some yeah, heart we're pieces. Yeah, we're gonna get little, little hearts. Yeah. Oh. So Swamp of Evil is like the Dark World version of the Desert of Mystery. I remember there's some sort of uh, pop fiction about some invisible enemies that actually are real and they are a glitch. Um, but I I don't remember oh, enough yeah, about Fiction, it. Pop Fiction, one of the best shows on Literally the my favorite show to watch on the internet. It is amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> there Got it is. Heart piece. Look how quick you learn how to get the heart pieces yeah, and the money. I learned so good. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, in, man. in the uh, Swamp of Evil is Misery Mire, which is the next temple uh, that we're going to head to, but we still got one more heart piece to get. Um, yeah. So, this heart piece... Alex, you know, there's something that's bothering me, and I'm not sure if I should go check it or... up. Oh, messed up that trends. Okay. Exit. Um, it's that I think you can, you can, uh, unlock the, uh, last fairy fountain to get the final upgrade of your sword. Also notice how uh, the game is greatly glitching out, as we can still hear the rain. Yeah. That's, you know, I mean, whatever. That's how this game does its thing. Da -da -da -da. All right. That puts us, oh man, we only have four hard pieces left and we're done so. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. That's great news, great news right there. Hey man, bad news bears. No, get out. So, no, we'll run into we'll run into it in good time. You know, we can. I'll just do a quick check. One, it doesn't hurt to have, it, at the very least, you know, learning lessons, teaching the lessons, Le freedom, <laughs> freedom, dude. Oh, say okay. what? <laughs> okay. Dude, say, <laughs> say what is. Oh my gosh. If you guys don't know about Rar Durder. Have, have we talked about this on the show? Um, we had, I think we had to have done Say What many times. Well, just okay, saying. there's a show called Clone High. It's a, um, it was one of the best shows yeah, of all time. It was, uh, who was it? Was it Dan Harmon? I think, uh... No, no, it was the guys who did 21 Jump Street and uh, Lego Movie. That's, yeah. That's who it is. And uh, I forget what their names are because I'm not an in industry professional. <laughs> but... Uh, I am not an industry professional later, man. Yeah, but, uh... <laughs> it's about a high school where, like, clones of, like, famous historical figures all hang out, and so... It's George Washington Carver... and Gandhi, and Gandhi's, like, you know, pretty street. Pretty street? But, yeah, but Carver is, like, kind of, like... <clears throat> he's, like, a square. Yeah. And so he doesn't know how to say, you know, like, say what? No, Gandhi's the guy who says that. No, no, no Gandhi's no, the Carver? director. Oh, that's right. That's Gandhi's right. the director. To and death, he's, bro. Yeah, and he's like, he's like, telling him like, no, 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 like this. Say what? But so this guy Rar Durder, who's like a master of YouTube poop. Uh, he's, he's got up one there of those, with with Mountain Dew. Yeah, he's he's really great, and uh, I'm sure you could find it. It's say what, clone high, whatever, on the internet. But it is just the funniest Kakariko Village, like. You just don't expect it. It's That's just the best so part. funny. It, uh, I'm like totally talking it up. So now, like, it's no, it's gr it's it's you're fine. Yeah, it's just it's funny. So uh, the sword that we're gonna go try and get right now is uh, the golden sword. So you have to throw your tempered sword into the mysterious pond. Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't happen yet. My bad, guys. Yeah, I don't Sorry, think can, everyone. I don't think you can do it yet. I just I I got excited. That's all. You know what's it's what's a little a little two minute trip, you know. It's just a two minute trip. Yeah, and we got that great story, and hopefully... You know what, if you rewatch this, during this part, just watch the Say What video instead of watching this part. <laughs> and it will be like you didn't even waste the time. <laughs> so now, uh, we're heading back to the swamp. And we're gonna... 
kicks some butt in the temple. This is another temple that I do not know. You don't know it super well? Don't know it very well. I always forget. A lot of stuff. I did pretty well in the in the uh, ice temple. I thought I was gonna we do worse. We did it in one episode, which yeah. was good. Yeah. You know. I love this taking out two temples in a weekend business. It's very encouraging. Yeah, man. Uh, next week we'll basically be finishing up the game. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yemen. Yemen, dude. Yemen. Salmon fishing in the Yemen. In Best the Yemen. 2013. 2013 Yemen fishing. That oh. might be a 2012 movie. I don't remember. That was a long time ago. Speaking of 2012, you guys need to go watch this sketch written by Alex Fossiani, performed by Alex Fossiani called oh my 2012. God. I don't even know where you can find that. I think if you look up Yearbook <coughs> Club Alex Fossiani 2012, you might be able to find it. It is the best it's a short a it's a short sweet sketch about yeah. the number 2012 <laughs> the number 20 the number the movie the, the game. phenomenon game. that is 2012 um but yeah who who really knows maybe you'll never find it maybe it will be linked to this episode in the week wiki who knows who really knows guys in suits <laughs> repping it good dude go help that guy out go go on the wiki and fill out a page go go fill out a page out Help. Make sure everything's make suits. sure everything's up to date. Sit, sit on the wiki for a hundred years and just cl keep hitting random, and it's very, very, it's very not annoying. What was I going to say? Very addicting. There we go. That's really cool. So those uh, black mage looking dudes are called whiz robes with two Z's, which I think is very, very fun. Uh, but uh, they've been around since the original Legend of Zelda, and they've always looked pretty neat. My favorite whiz robe is the mini boss version in Wind Waker, who looks kind of like a totem pole and yeah, goes like, yeah, ah. yeah. Oh yeah, I really, really like those ones. Um, and there's like a few different variations of them. I'm so bad at this dungeon. I'm already freaking out right now. What? So I'm so bad at this dungeon. I'm already freaking out. Oh, I think you'll be okay. Um, but yeah, they do like very, very much resemble the Black Mage and the Simirror. <laughs> if you guys remember the Simirror <laughs> from uh, Kirby, <laughs> are you familiar with the Simirror? No, but that, I'm looking at your assets right now, and they're pretty cool. Yeah, it, it looks- it's just like another enemy that looks a lot like a black mage. But by far, the best whiz robe is the one in Wind Waker. But they always look super different. The ones in Majora's Mask are really creepy. Okay, so this is the- this is one of those temples where getting the key is, like, not necessarily the good thing. So this, uh, dungeon is pretty interesting. It has the cane of Samaria, which is the, uh... It's like the, you know, the the orange cane. And it looks really, really cool in the player's guide for A Link to the Past, but it looks almost like the top of a hanger <laughs> in, in the actual game. Did You didn't get it already, did you? No. Oh, God, no. Yeah, pretty much it, it's, it's like... It's like the this game analog of the sand rod, pretty much. It, like, makes a block. So that's the point of it. There's a lot of neat little items in this, and a lot of them in this game, compared to a lot of the other games, have, like, a name. Like, the Cane of Somaria, right? Like, what is Somaria? You know what I mean? Like, what is that? Where is that? It's just, like, an interesting little, like, lore question that is just created by naming it. And that's, like, one of the, like, cool things about, I think, fantasy stuff in general is that you can just, like, throw out a name and then it's like, what in the hell is that? And it just ends up being like a seed for like some like young adult novelization five years down the road. Or like that's how like Doctor Who does it too, you know? Like they like drop seeds like ten episodes before. Yeah. And then they like come back with something. They like reuse stuff. Venture Bros does it too with all the like joke names. They just like make up characters and then like four years later they'll be like, well, we need a guy who does this thing, so who can we use? Let's check the show Bible for characters that we've named, but we haven't seen, and then... You know. So that's a neat thing. There we go. So <clears throat> what's... My question today is, what's your favorite, um... What's your favorite, um... Mystical... Like... Artifact... Or word? What's your favorite, like, MacGuffin? What's oh, your favorite... MacGuffin? Not MacGuffin, necessarily, but just, like, what's your favorite, like... Like, it can't just be, like, lightsaber. I want something that's, like, has, like, a name. I want something with, like, a proper name. 
You know what I mean? Um, oh man. Like, uh, what's the name of the, the sword from Lord of the Rings? I can't think of one. Like, Sting, for example. Yeah. Okay, so right now, sorry, I, I think that we're getting a little ahead of ourselves with this, uh, dungeon. Um, as much as we want to go to this place, we need to get, uh, this is the way to the end of the game, if I recall. Or the end of the level, sorry. Uh-huh. So, so we gotta- There's we gotta, a few gotta, items we need. Yeah, yeah, we need to get the big key, we need to get the, uh, cane. So we got some things to do real quick. Oh. I wonder... Oh. Like, look how much neater this is than the Ice Temple, as far as, like, how it looks. Yeah. It has, like, a very, like... Feels almost like... Prometheus, or Alien, or something like that. Doesn't it? Feels, yeah, like, absolutely, ancient yeah. and cool. Feels like know. something else lived here. Yeah, I'm not hating on the Ice Temple. I just think it's the least... I think they focus a little bit too much on the color, that's all. Yeah. This. I, I could definitely see that. So the flying tile is like a pretty... ...common enemy. It's like in like a bunch of Zelda games. I wonder... I don't remember this enough. I always like when they like form a look, like a, like a thing. That's like a skull right there, yeah. yeah. Okay, so flame will, will open it. Oh, here we go, what do we got here? Bang. Bang. The compass, Boom. which is not what we need, but... But it's a useful item. It's, a, it's an item nonetheless, so... Da -da. Wah. Wah, 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 wah. So what do you think it is about these two temples that are like that keep them from being as well known to you? I just think it's they're because late in the game? I think they just because they feel like they're very long on purpose as opposed to just like being well designed, you know? I don't know. I, don't know. I wouldn't say they're poorly designed. No, they're not, but I Those they're, yellow they're, guys are called uh Slugula. Uh but in uh Japanese their name is uh, Nuranuru, which comes from Nuranura. It's a Japanese word for slimy. Gotcha. So they're like slugs, like sea slug, kind of gross, mm, nasty yeah. slug guys. They'd there you go. They be slugging, yo. Little, little trivia for y'alls. And of course the Bemos, we can't forget about the Bemos. Um, which are, you know, I think one of the more classic Zelda enemies that you think of. Yeah. Um, really interesting. Uh, there's a part in Ocarina of Time when or she's me. talking about the Bemos where she says they don't like smoke And it's like a reference to what the the old man says in Zelda 1 when yeah. he says uh, Dodongo dislikes smoke. Yeah, you know what? I think I did mess up. I think that I was going the right way to begin with I just didn't trust my instincts stories from the dungeon Gerard's confessions <laughs> diary, diary number 45. Your diary's still in this. I just thought that- Weird ass temple. I'm just- it doesn't get any better. No word on whether I'm gonna be able to make it into I just- space. I feel like- <laughs> God damn it, Alex. <laughs> you always somehow manage to, like, do better than me with that stuff. Oh, God. In canon space. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I think what this actually leads to, I messed up, I got paranoid. You thought you were uh, going the wrong I, I way. I thought I was going the right way, uh, wrong way. I am now You're going the wrong way. Yeah. So I think now what I have to do, I miraculously somehow did this dungeon correctly. Um, at least, or at least I'd like to think so in good faith. Maybe. Yeah. We might get to the end and be like, oh, oh, I messed up. Oh yeah. Okay. So that big key, that that chest you just saw right there, that was the big key. Okay. So we got to get to there. Great. So I think how we get to Down there. Down and around. Down and around. Down and around status. Slug slugs. Slugs, you lud. Oh, straight slug you lud. <laughs> Reminds me of Slurm. <laughs> From Futurama? Yeah. R.I.P. Futurama. Oh man. You were never as good as you were. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> what does that even mean? When they came back, they were worse. I thought they were good still. Uh, I thought they had proved tremendously. It was weird. Well, I, I kind of stopped watching it after they, like, came back in, what, 2010 or 11 with a, like, iPod episode or iPhone episode. I was like, there was a time for you to make fun of the iPhone, and it was three years ago. Um, let's see here. There we go. Not that I think it's bad. I just, you know, you come back. It's the same thing with the rest of development. It's like, you come back, you try something new, and it's not exactly the, like, show you, like, grew up thinking was the best show ever. I don't know, I thought Resident Evil was 
it never missed a beat, but that's just me. I don't, I, I, it's the same thing. Like, the more I look at it and the more I watch it, Arrested Development Season 4 is, like, completely on par with the rest of it. But the writers, you know, instead of just, like, playing it safe, you know, they tried something new. Yeah. And, uh, I think that was the thing that, like, threw you off. Like, that first episode is, like, super depressing, you know? Yeah, it is. What happened? Uh, the... Temple's changing. That took a really long time. Yeah, it's the whole point because this room just became like this room. <laughs> this room. Oh, well. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, you guys. Ow. Ow. And boom, there we see. Oh god. That big old key, that I big I was big going key. the right way. I feel so dumb. That everyone really, everyone really right big, now big, big is key. like, thank God Gerard put his head on straight. Hell yeah, that big old key. That big, big, that big, big, that big, big, big old, old booty key. key. So this, big uh, booty key, big big booty key, big booty key. Ow. So we're in like part two of the temple now. Yeah, we got to do one thing before we go to the end. We have to get the uh, the cane. You know, now that I've actually done this the right way for the first time in years, um, <laughs> you feel this, free. I feel a little free. You know. You think maybe this temple isn't so bad after all? Yeah, I think so. Might be a little bit better designed than we thought. <gasps> yeah. I don't want to wait. Oh, oh, oh God! Laser eye. Oh! oh clench mode. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, give me that cane of Samaria. Now we're good to go, man. Now we're now we're ready to rock and roll. We're gonna kill this dude. Now we're gonna kill people. <laughs> we're gonna. Well, <laughs> no, we're not gonna kill anyone. Well, no, we're gonna kill a lot more people before this before this game is over. Well, I mean, I, I don't mean we're literally harming anyone. No, no, it's, no. Uh, this is not a thing. Me where, and Gerard aren't gonna go kill. No, anybody. no, no. But people. Get, Link's Link's gonna be doing. Yeah, some Link's killing. gonna be a murderer. That's just what. <laughs> it has come down so, to this moment. Sorry, Link. Sorry to depress everyone in that moment. Okay, but yeah. so here's the deal. This guy uh, that we're about to fight. Are we to him? We're almost there. Yeah, we have a little more dungeon exploring to do. A little dunge. Oof. Already bit. gotta use the cane to Yeah, it makes a little block. Look at him go. Burp, burp. Wah, 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 wah. Are those blocks immune to the darkness? Like can you see them in the dark? Uh yes, you can. Isn't that tight? How they do that? Little things like that. Can I change the uh Can I change the question of the week or answer either one? <laughs> sure. What's a little tiny design decision that really makes a big difference in the game, do you think? For example, in Mario Kart 8, they changed the bananas from trailing behind you in a line to circling you like the shells. And it makes it easier for you to protect yourself with bananas against threats from all directions rather than just from behind. And, you know, peeling out on like a bunch of bananas is like pretty un unfair. Oh no. So I think that, you know, and I'm sure none of you, not all of you agree with me, but like, in my opinion, that's a very small little decision, changing the bananas from, you know, trailing behind you to rotating around you. What am, am I not just doing this right? Why don't you just shoot an arrow at it? Hey, is someone dead? There you go. What did that do though? I don't know played this temple like one time in my life. Two Am times. Am I just going the wrong- is this just- oh, I'm dumb. Didn't even see it. There we go. See? Things hey, are good now. Doors right there! Oh, this is a dun bonus part. Well, I don't really need to be here then. Money I'm also world. out of magic right now. This is the detour section. What opened? Uh, it was just used for that. That's all it was. Oh. Alright. Later, man. Alright, so essentially what just went down was that we just needed- Either I went in the wrong way, or... Let's see, is there another door in here? Yeah, I think I just went the complete wrong way. There's you just, just, like, went to a secret world? Went to a different door, maybe? Or is there another door here? Oh, there's a key. How do you feel about, like, dark zones? Do they get your goat? Dark zones? Yeah, like that, like... Do they get my goat? Sometimes I get frustrated, I'm like, what? Like, how many more... 
It's like one of those tropes that you're like, okay. Like the top down, 2D dark level. Great. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. So I think what I have to do is go up there and get the key. I just don't know the best way of doing it. I'll figure it out. Sweet. I like these ones where we just commit to beating a temple in one episode. Yeah, man. That's what we do. Nice meaty. Nice meaty Zelda eps. Hmm. Hum. Maybe you just need to go back. Maybe you just push that block the wrong way or something. Push it to the right or to the left as opposed to up. Yeah. With a try. Might as well. I, I haven't played this temple in so long. I know. <sighs> oh, you can't even get it. That's like how you come out. I think I ruined it, though. No, there's no way you're glitched in this temple. See, now it's better. Oh, there it is. See? Okay, we there right. we go. We, we so right. We're gonna go straight up. We right. We're gonna go straight up right now. And get this, uh... This should be the key that we need. You need some fairies, my dude. Oh, I got them. See, there we go. And now we're groovy. Now, now we're going we back. Beat, and now we're moving on. Now we can beat the man. Now we can beat the man, save the empire. Save the emperor. Sen save the emperor. Save Palpatine. Save Senator Palpatine. Link to the palp. Oof. That had OJ reference right there. What? <laughs> link to the orange juice. Not, oh, not OJ. A, li a link to the pulp? Yeah. No, a link to the palp. That's the name of this episode. A link to the pulp? Yeah. Alex will maybe never remember that, but he will do his best. <laughs> link to the pulp. A link to the pulp. That is the name of it. A link oh, wait, to how the are we rocking right now? We still doing okay? What? Time wise, we're still doing okay. We're not going on for too minutes. long. That'd all right. be all right. We all fight right, the right, boss right, sometime right, soon. Right, right. Yeah, we should be there soon. Oh, damn it. Is this one of those. Th okay, you know what? Did you just waste your key? I did. I think the only way to go about this is that it's got to be in here. I think that I just didn't do this good. Oh, man. I wasted everyone's time again, Alex. You don't waste everyone's time. We discovered such wonderful I, I, uh, just, journeys. It's all about the journey. I know, man. Not the uh, destination. I know. I know the dust. You know the dust? The dust. Oh, the dust. The journ, not the dust. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just messed it up, that's all. Don't forget the journ. It's the dust. Oh my god, I didn't go in this door. This really? is really Oh my car. I am so stupid. Everyone at home, you I give it up. you. I give you free permission to be angry at me. Don't you dare give that to anyone. You know what? And that's why this. Never forget, it's the journ, not the dust. <sighs> it's just, I'm so sorry, everyone at home. I think I've I've done I've done some fair, dumb things on this show. This has to be one of the worst. Are you trying to like? Yeah, kill I was trying. Those? I was trying to be a cool guy. Oh, those guys. Those are a thing. Um, so, those little black things that like scurried, did you see that? Yes. Those things are called Zoros, okay? And these are neat. I was hoping for you to find some of these guys because Zoros are a play on a Japanese automatopoeia as most Japanese enemies are. Uh, Zoro Zoro, which means to come in droves. Interesting. Uh, which is neat. Uh, like, because they do, they come in droves when you open a door sometimes. Gotcha. Nido Bido. Nido Bandido. Nido? Nido Bandido. Oh, I can't believe I wasted time, guys. I'm so sorry. It wasn't. It's the journ. I know the it's the journ, not the durst. It's just, it feels. I feel responsible. You know? It's the journ, not the dex. I know. I know it's the dex. Everybody check out the dex on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube.com slash the national dex. That's you, man. <laughs> that is so you. All right. All right, time to end this guy. So now we take on Vitreus, okay? Vitreus is this eyeball pile, and uh, his name comes from Vitreus humor, which is the clear gel found inside the eyeballs of vertebrates. So it's in your eyes, it's in your dog's eyes, anything with a backbone. I feel in, like there's a better way to kill this guy. In Japanese, uh, his name is Geldogger, uh, which is a pretty rough translation of like Geldo. Giru Doga, uh, because the because the suffix dogger is in there because it connects it to the dig dogger, which is like a recurring boss from Zelda. It's like one of the like big eye ones that's in uh, Zelda One and in Oracle of Seasons. 
Um, it's the one that you like play the recorder to shrink it. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And it's it's supposed to be maybe like a big gel or a big uh, zol mm -hmm. in in the Japanese one, but in this it's vitreous. It's just like an eye pun. And uh, I guess those other four eyes are just like not for. They're just like for show. Mm -hmm. Just crushing this dude right now. You know, I think there's a way to kill him that I'm just not taking advantage of. Uh, you can use the cape or the cane to just dash in and attack him and the small eyeballs. It is just a matter of beating him with the sword. Yeah, you could use the bow. Oh, uh, maybe the bow is a good way. The best method is to stand in one of the corners and just use the whirling blade to kill all the eyes. Yeah. But, like, whatever. In the comic, Vitreus looks messed up, dude. Oh, man, that's creepy. Yeah, he looks like hundreds of eyes in Let's the comic. Say, whoever's editing this, try and show this one, please. Yeah, Vitreus, it's on his page on the Zelda wiki. You can check it out. It's just this narbars. Because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Ganon captures because he couldn't break the seal of the wise men with his power alone. Link, you must stealth your way into his base. <laughs> Using the wizard Agonim as his pawn, he drew us to the dark world. After cracking the seal of our powers, he, he sealed, sealed us inside, inside these crystals. He sealed us inside the crystals in the his heart of his base. <laughs> but Ganon didn't plan on you sneaking into his base. Now Princess, now Princess Zelda is waiting for you to knock out the guards and sneak past them into his base. Please hurry. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Not at all. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, no lady. No way. I don't understand it. It's like gibberish to me. I don't want to do what you just asked. All right, ladies and germs. Ladies and germs. What? Look at this old-fashioned length Beard Bros episode we're chilling in right now. Yeah, man. People are like, hell no, those were like an hour and a half. Hell no, man. And we're like, well, you try editing an hour and a half long piece of footage. It's oh, crazy. Laterid. All right. Man. All right. That's it for this weekend. That's two temples down. This is how you progress. This is how progress is made in the you... world of progress. Dude, this is the carousel of progress from Disneyland circa 1985. Yeah. <laughs> All right, dudes. Are we doing something right now? I'm just uh, getting some life. I mean, maybe we'll go from this dungeon. I don't know. Maybe we got some adventuring to do. I don't know, but this is it. All right. We'll see you next week, dudes. Later, man. Later, man.